weather. It's really cold outside. I can't stand this weather. What? I love the cold weather. It's so refreshing. And the snow makes everything look magical. And it's fun to play in. How can you like this? I'd rather be at the beach enjoying the sun. I hate hot weather. It makes me feel sluggish and unproductive. <sighs> But you can't even go outside in this weather. It's too cold. Plus, it's harder to get around in the snow. That's why I love it. I get to stay indoors and cozy up by the fire. I don't see how anyone can enjoy this. It's just too cold and miserable. Each to their own, I guess. But the cold weather has its benefits too. It can boost your immunity and help you sleep better. That's true. But warm weather can improve your mood and increase your vitamin D levels. I love the beach and the sun. It's much more relaxing and enjoyable. I can't stand the heat. It's too humid and sticky. But you can do so much more in the summer. Go on vacation, swim in the ocean, and enjoy the outdoors. I prefer the winter sports. Skiing, snowboarding, ice skating. It's so much fun. Well, I guess we'll just have to agree to disagree. Exactly. It's all a matter of personal preference. Food and cooking. What's your favorite dish to cook at home, Laura? I love making lime marinated chicken wings with avocado dip. It's so easy and delicious. That sounds amazing. How do you make it? You marinate the chicken wings in lime juice, garlic, and spices for about an hour. Then bake them until they're crispy. For the dip, you blend avocado, sour cream, and lime juice. It only takes about 30 minutes to make. I have to try that. My favorite recipe is fusilli with tomatoes, black olives, garlic, and feta cheese. That sounds delicious. How do you make it? You cook the pasta according to the package instructions. Then saute garlic, cherry tomatoes, and black olives in olive oil. Mix the pasta with the sauce and top it with crumbled feta cheese. It's ready in less than 20 minutes. That's so easy and quick. I have to try it. Definitely. Cooking is so relaxing. It is so exciting to see the finished meal. Enjoy it and see others enjoying it. Yes, and it's also healthier and more cost effective than eating out all the time. Exactly. Work and jobs. I used to have three jobs before my current one. Really? I didn't know that. What were they? My first job was that of a maintenance man at a fast food restaurant. I had to clean the kitchen and dining area and fix any broken equipment. What was your second job? I worked as a waiter at a restaurant. I had to take orders, serve food and drinks, and handle payments. What about your third job? I worked as a marketing consultant. I had to research the market, develop marketing strategies, and pitch ideas to clients. And your current job is that of a manager? What do you do as a manager? As a manager, I oversee the operations of the company, manage employees, 
and ensure that we meet our goals and targets. Why did you keep changing your jobs? I changed my jobs because I wanted to gain new experiences, learn new skills, and earn more money. What did you like and dislike about each job? As a maintenance man, I liked that it was a simple job, but I disliked the long hours and low payment. As a waiter, I liked the tips, but disliked dealing with difficult customers. As a marketing consultant, I liked the creativity, but disliked the pressure to meet deadlines. And as a manager, I liked the challenge, but disliked the responsibility. Holidays. Hey, what do you usually do on Christmas Day? We have a big family dinner and exchange gifts. Then my family and I all cuddle up on the couch and eat chocolate chip cookies and listen to my dad read The Night Before Christmas. We also love to sing carols. What about you? We usually go to church in the morning and then have a big lunch with our family. That sounds nice. Do you have any Christmas traditions in your family? Yes, we always decorate the Christmas tree together. We also play games and dress in matching family pajamas. That's lovely. We always watch a Christmas movie together on Christmas Eve. Do you also decorate the outside of your house? Yes, we decorate the outside of the house with colorful lights and Santa Claus related figures. It makes everything feel really festive and joyful. What gifts would you like to receive on Christmas? I would like some books and some board games. What about you? I hope to get some clothes and gadgets. What's your favorite part of Christmas? I love spending time with my family and eating all the delicious food. Me too! The food is always the best part, especially the desserts. I love that too. What's your favorite meal during Christmas? Definitely the roast chicken and mashed potatoes. What about you? I love the Christmas pudding and the mince pies. My favorite treat are Rolo pretzels. My mom and I always make these together. Those are delicious too. I can't wait for Christmas to come around again. Me too. It's the best time of the year. Leisure. What do you usually do in your leisure time? I like to go hiking, read books, and watch movies. How about you? I like playing basketball with my friends. I love trying out new hobbies and activities. Recently, I started painting and playing guitar. That's cool. Do you like going to the gym? Not really. I prefer outdoor activities. Do you like hiking too? Yeah, I love hiking. I usually go to the mountains on the weekends. Do you have a favorite hiking trail? Yes. I like going to the national park nearby. There's a beautiful trail that leads to a waterfall. That sounds amazing. I'll have to check it out sometime. Maybe we can also plan a hiking trip together sometime. That sounds like a great idea. I'm looking forward to it. We can also check out some local art galleries to see if there are any new exhibitions. I didn't know you were into art, too. What kind of art do you like? I am really into street art. I love the vibrant colors and the way it can transform a space. That's really cool. I've always been interested in learning more about street art. Maybe you can show me some of your favorite pieces? Definitely. Let's plan to meet up on Saturday and explore some new art. Family. Who do you look like in your family? 
I look like my mom in appearance. We both have the same nose, hair, and brown eyes. But I'm like my dad in character. He's very funny and outgoing, just like me. We both love to make people laugh with funny jokes. I also share his love for basketball, and we're both smart and hardworking. That's amazing. I look like my grandmother in appearance. She is short and has the same blonde curly hair and big blue eyes as me. And we also have the same smile. I'm like both my parents in character. My mom is kind and caring, just like me. I also take after my mom in my love for reading and my eagerness to learn. And my dad is adventurous and outgoing, just like me. Wow, your parents sound cool. Yeah, I'm grateful to have such awesome parents. Do they do adventure sports too? Yes, they do. They love skiing and hiking, and they're very passionate about travel and exploring new places. That's so cool! Lifestyle. Hey, how's it going? Not great. I'm feeling really tired and sluggish. I also have back and neck pains all the time. Why is that? I've worked very much lately, and I've been pretty sedentary over the past two years. I spend most of my day sitting down. I work at a desk job, and when I get home, I watch TV or play video games. Well, I jog every day, and it really helps me feel energized. I love being active and doing outdoor activities. I wish I had the energy to do it too, but I don't. Once you begin working out, you'll see that the extra activity boosts your energy levels. A sedentary lifestyle can increase the risk of heart disease, diabetes, and other health problems. That's really scary. Yeah, it is. But the good news is that you can change your lifestyle. There are many small changes you can make, like taking breaks to walk around or doing some stretching during the day while you're working, ideally every 20 minutes to half an hour. Even small changes like these can make a big difference in your health. Exercise is crucial when you sit for 8 to 12 hours a day. That's a good idea. I'll try to do that. And instead of spending all your time looking at screens, you could try doing something more active, like running, dancing, or going for a bike ride. That sounds like fun. I'll definitely try to do that too. That's great to hear. Your body will thank you for it. Clothes and style. Hey, Luke. I can't decide what to wear to the party tonight. I need something to make me feel confident. Will you help me find an outfit? You have an eye for fashion. Sure, I'll help you. What do you think of this dress? Hmm, it's not really your style, and it's not on trend anymore. What about that blue midi dress you have? The one with braces? No way. I wore that last time. What about this black skirt with peplum and this white top? It's cute, but it's not really party material. It's too formal. How about that red dress you wore to your graduation party? No, it's too fancy for this party. What else do you suggest? Well, you could wear some leather pants with a crop top and heels. That would look hot. Ew, no way. That's not my style at all. Okay. How about that lace cocktail dress that you bought online? It's beautiful and very flattering. That would definitely turn heads. Yes, that's perfect. I forgot I had that. Thanks for your help, Luke. No problem, sis. 
Just doing my brotherly duty. Now all I have to think about is what shoes to wear. Money. Hey, do you ever think about how much money you spend each month? Definitely. I have to keep track of my expenses to make sure I don't overspend. What kind of expenses do you have each month? I have to pay for my phone bill, dorm, laundry, food, bus pass, school supplies, and personal items. Wow, that's a lot of expenses. How much do you spend each month? I spend around $500 each month. That's a lot of money. What's your monthly phone bill normally? Normally, my phone bill is about $45. How much do you usually spend on lunch? I spend between $5 and $10. Where do you usually eat for lunch? I typically eat in the college cafeteria. Once in a blue moon, I will order food. And I typically aim for $6 to $12. How much do you usually spend on the weekends? Well, on the weekends, I usually spend maybe $25. Do you have a credit card? Yes, I do. Do you ever gamble? No, I never gamble. How much money do you have left over each month after paying all your bills? And what do you do with it? After I pay my bills, I have $10 to $25 left. I usually buy some books with that money. Travel Have you thought about traveling anywhere lately? Yes, I have. I'd love to travel to South Korea. Have you ever been there? No, I haven't. Why South Korea? Well, South Korea has a fascinating culture, delicious food, and breathtaking nature. It's also home to some of the most advanced technology in the world. That sounds amazing. South Korea is also known for its K-pop music and entertainment industry, which has a global following. Plus, the country has a rich history and traditions that are worth exploring. That's interesting. I've always wanted to go to Australia. Have you been there? Yes, I have. Australia has some of the most beautiful beaches, vibrant cities, and unique wildlife in the world. The people are also incredibly friendly. That's right. Australia is also famous for its surfing culture and outdoor activities like hiking and camping. The country also has some of the best wine regions in the world. They're both fascinating countries. It's always great to learn about different cultures and experience new things. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.